Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use Google Sheets API, right? So if you have a spreadsheet in Google Sheets, you can use this spreadsheet as a data store and you can access this data store via an API. It's a read only API. So what you would do is you would put in your data via this really great user interface and then from your application, you can access the data as a regular JSON API. And I'm going to show you how you can do this in this video. First, we fire up the spreadsheet, Google spreadsheet. So I will put some data in here. So we just see some, this spreadsheet is what we're going to use in order to call the API. Now we need to do some preparation and all the steps for preparation I have collected in this worksheet here for you, right? You can download this worksheet. I will put the link up where you can get this worksheet. So you can go through these steps and you have a little guidance that takes you along. There are a couple of steps involved. First, you have to set up your Google Sheet. You need to go on File, Publish to the Web. Let's do that. File, then Publish to the Web over here, where we basically say we want to have the entire document um, published and we click on Publish. Are you sure you want to publish? Yes. So what we will do in addition is that we will share this worksheet right now. The sharing button here says it's private to only me. I will change this and I will say I want to have this sheet available for anyone with a link. Right now I get a link, copy this link and click on done. What I can do now that I have this link is that I extract the unique sheet ID. The sheet ID is, if you know REST, it's the resource identifier, right? It's the, the unique identifier of this resource. And um, let me copy this URL that I got over here into my worksheet. And in the worksheet, I can see a pattern. Um, of a URL, of such a um, publicly shared URL, and there's a sheet ID in there. So what I need to do is I need to identify exactly that part of the URL that matches the sheet ID. And that's going to be this here. It's actually not that complicated what you have to do. Right? This is my sheet ID. I can copy that out here. And I use this sheet ID in order to construct a new URL. And it's going to be our API URL. And it's written down here. Um, the basic URL, the base path is spreadsheet.google.com slash feed slash cells. And then I have this, the uh, sheet ID and the page number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace in this or let me do it like this. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to copy this and put another copy in here. All right. And then I'm going to replace the sheet ID. Good. And now I also need to set the page number. So this is the first page. I can just replace this by one. And as you already see in this path that we have constructed, there are something called JSON here in the end. And that shows how the data should be rendered. So this gives us now access to JSON data. We can do a get on this URL, on this API. Uh, that's what the browser, for example, can do for us. And we get this here. What is this? Well, this is a JSON representation of our spreadsheet. <laughs> that's simple. You just copy that. This is our spreadsheet. Copy that into an editor over here. Paste it format this a little bit. Uh, 
And now I can see what's in this spreadsheet. There is some kind of a header that specifies encoding, who has created that spreadsheet. And it also shows the entry. And in entry, we have all the data. The data in our spreadsheet, there is a category, okay, some kind of category of how this data is formatted or these entries are formatted. And then we have content. And in this content, there is a um, dollar T, a text, it says A1. And we have a Google Sheet cell with the text A1. This is what we have put in here. So if I jump back into our UI rendering in the web app, then I see here is A1. And this is the text A1 that I put in here. And it tells me that this is this text or input value that is in column number one and in row number one. And um, it also gives me a direct URL how I can access exactly this value, this um, $t value A1, by just calling an API. Okay, so if you want, um, we can try to call that. And um, but before that, I think let's jump just to the next content element, which is B1. Right, just so you get a, an overview of what's in this file, there's a B1, column two, row one. Yeah, that's about right. Uh, and another URL. Then we have a third entry with A2 and a fourth entry with B2. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to test if I can get to the A1 directly with this URL here. So I'm going to copy that URL that I've put in there. Right. Public full this thing here. And then we're going to put in alt JSON as before. And let's put this in the browser, which is basically doing a get call on this API. And now we get another JSON construct. Let's see what this JSON construct contains. Just take this into the browser, format it a little bit. And as you can see, this does not give me the complete spreadsheet. This is the complete answer. It's a smaller JSON and it shows me here the content directly. The content is A1, it shows me the cell, um, row one, column one, and its ID with any links attached to it. So this is very practical because now you have an API call which can address any cell directly in your spreadsheet. Now, what I think is really great about this approach is that Google wanted to build this application, Google Sheets, right? And they built it as a single page application. By building that, it's kind of normal that you have an API for accessing the data into that SPA. And now some applications just try to hide this data, try to hide the, the API access to this data. Well, Google Sheets did a different approach. They said, well, we're using this API internally into our SPA. Maybe you're interested in using that API as well. And yeah, actually we are. So we, we can at no additional effort on Google side get all the benefits of using an API uh, like Google Sheets. It's great. Now, of course, you always need to remember that these spreadsheets are kind of shared and that they are published to the web and that they are public. So 
this whole concept of course has limitations you cannot have confidential data you cannot really protect these apis directly that needs to just be taken into consideration when you work with such spreadsheets but i think for um, things that are public anyway like web pages or even dynamic web pages which are public um, this is a very interesting concept and if you have public information that we want to edit um, in this wonderful editor here that um, google spreadsheet gives you this wonderful ui um, and at the same time you want to access this data via an api then i think this is a very interesting way of storing and retrieving data via api so that's it i hope you liked this video you've learned something and if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel thanks and stay tuned for next week's episode learn something about apis see you there <laughs>